Hey, thanks for joining me today. You're listening to The Sit Down with Roman Gray. What does it mean to be original? Can anybody really call themselves a self-made man or a self-made woman? We live in a world constantly revived by inspiration and motivation. Everybody that is here today didn't get to where they are on their own. I heard this saying that goes like this, life isn't a sprint or a marathon, it's a relay race. None of us would be where we are today if it weren't for a couple or a few special people in our lives who have directly affected or impacted us in some shape or form. And if so many artists, entrepreneurs, and innovators claim to be original, but so much of their work is inspired by previous people, then are they still original? Are they really a self-made person when there's a whole team supporting them? I'm not trying to tear down anyone's success or the hard work they put in, but it's an idea that I've been sitting on for a while. Authenticity and originality are something everyone gravitates toward. So does being original or authentic mean being unique? Does it mean just being true to who you are? Is there even a difference between authenticity and originality? I think a lot of us don't even realize what we actually mean when we tell someone to be original or stay authentic. It feels like what we're saying when we say these things is to just be different. Maybe being original isn't about being new or doing something new, but instead being different from everyone else and what they're doing. Mark Twain once said, There is no such thing as a new idea. We simply take a lot of old ideas and put them into a sort of mental kaleidoscope. We give them a turn and they make new and curious combinations but they are the same old pieces of colored glass that have been in use through all the ages. So what I get from that quote is that our thoughts and ideas are remixes of things we've heard, seen, and done in our lifetime. However, I feel that even if everything has been said and done, it hasn't been said or done in your voice with your words, and with your uniqueness. I feel like that is what makes something or someone original or authentic. Nobody is exactly a walking replica of another, right? We're all made up of DNA that is strictly unique to our individual selves. Nobody has your exact DNA. There is only one of you, so by definition, we're all already unique. So the next time someone says you're like everyone else, they're right. You're unique, just like everyone else. But I think we lose our authenticity or originality when we grow up believing that we should be like other people. Rather than being told we are who we are and that's enough, we're told what's wrong with us and what needs to change in order to fit in and for more people to like us. It's along those lies that we lose what makes us authentic and original. We need to loosen our grip on the idea that being original means being utterly out of this world and leave the idea that being authentic means never changing who you are. Because then basically all we're doing is using these words in ways that restrict or limit what we think we can do or should do. Because we're trying to stay true to these words and what it means to everyone else. In the end, I've accepted the fact that everything I may do has been done 
or thought of before. But what makes it different is me. Because it's my voice, my words, me in my entirety that gives everything I do its uniqueness and is what makes it different. And because we all have that, we can all speak and communicate to a different audience in our own unique and original ways. Hey guys, I just want to take a moment to say something really important. So instead of the usual outro that I do, I have some really, really pretty exciting news actually. I have just launched my very first store ever. There was so much work that went into this. I mean, just so much headaches, just one big headache of love. Please, when you're done listening to this, head over to my site. Again, the website is called itsromangray.com. Everything is now available for pre-order. So head over there, see if you like anything. If you like something, hey, support me, support this podcast. And just because it's a first for me, I'm offering a discount across the whole store. So please check it out. The store officially launches February 1st. It would mean the world to me. And until next time.